the legend Voldorom's stamina is so shit. So by the time you get to the second half, second second part of the second half, he is so tired he can't do shit no more. So very very uh, bad looking legend, I have to say. Probably one of the worst looking ones that EA has released. If you look at his, if you look at his in-game stats, he doesn't look great at all. So. Why should you even bother buying him? And that is the point of this review. If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get you coins, check out battlelit.com. The link will be in the description and use the code ETONY to get 5% off. If you're looking for PSN cards, Microsoft points, or cheap PC games, check out G2A. The link will also be in the description and use the code ETONY for a discount. So, looking at his in game stats, you would think there's so many better players that, like, you could get an 82 overall Colombian center attack in mid that has better stats than him. You could even get Rodriguez that, have, that has better stats than him. So why should you po uh, uh, pay 2 million basically for this guy? Yes, he goes for 2 million coins. So let's start with his positives. 68 pace. Um, I actually felt he is way faster than 68 pace. He feels like 79, 80 pace. I'm being serious. This guy is pretty fast and uh, he is just not 68 pace, in my opinion. Did not feel weak at the same time. He, it felt like a, a younger brother of Hulit, so that's the way he felt like. He didn't feel weak at all, so he wasn't getting bullied off the ball very easily. Passing-wise, this guy assisted my strikers so many times, so his passing was amazing, in my opinion. You will see me assist Hulit way off so many times. Really awesome in that category. Now, when it comes to his weak foot... It, like his shooting is shit. I have to tell you this. So his weak foot didn't well, well wasn't really that important. So in the penalty area as well, his finishing was shit as well. So you won't finish everything, and he isn't exactly the most reliable player. And you'll see some some shots, you know, just go wide from short range. But one thing I would have to say is his dribbling is pretty insane. This guy's dribbling is so good, I really enjoyed using him. And that is one of his amazing attributes that I really enjoyed about him. Because he just, you could easily dribble past the whole team. And that full star skills really helps because the spin is so awesome for a center attack in mid. And you'll see me get so many opportunities created by him because of his skills and his dribbling. And that is... Uh, really awesome because that's one of the reasons I was able to assist my strikers in the first place. So let's move on to his negatives. Oh, and one more positive he has an afro, so you could easily tell who he is on the pitch. But it felt like I was playing pro clubs with this guy when I was playing with him. But anyway. Moving on to his negatives, which I have mentioned some of them in the in this review already. Stamina, utter shit. Second half becomes very annoying, so you have to keep that in mind. His stamina is not great. I think it's like 58, so keep that in mind, guys. He gets tired very, very quickly. And also, finishing, not very reliable in the penalty area. If you find that annoying for, his, for your center attack in mid, then there you go. And his shooting is really weak. So that's all there is to it. I actually enjoyed using this guy more than Okosha. So that's all up to you to decide what sort of play you're looking for. But he wasn't that bad. Looking at his in-game stats, a lot of them aren't really true. So keep that in mind, guys. He does go for quite a lot of coinage. I would wait until he goes down the price if you want to try him out. But I do sort of recommend him, to be honest. I enjoyed using him. So that's all there is to it. And... Uh, Valderrama gets an 8.7 out of 10.